Voyager 1 sends strange signals from beyond the solar system. Scientists are confused. Traveling through the solar system for 45 years takes its toll on a spacecraft. On board one of NASA's most famous spacecraft of the 20th century, Voyager 1 is a verified space sort that has flown for more than half a century and is still going strong. However, there have been some recent developments on it. In today's video, we will be discussing how Voyager 1 sends strange signals from beyond the solar system and how scientists are confused. So let's get right into it. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977. It traveled into what scientists refer to as interstellar space in 2012, crossing the heliopause which marks the end of the solar wind's dominion in space and then just kept going. However, as it travels further, it becomes older because it has been traveling through space at a rate of around 3.6 Earth-Sun distances per year in recent history, it is presently 14.5 billion miles away from Earth. While Voyager 1 continues to function normally, scientists on the expedition recently noted that it looked to be confused about its location in space without going into safe mode or otherwise sounding an alarm. The spaceship, however, remains within the solar system's gravitational grasp and has not left it yet. According to NASA, the twin Voyager 2 probe, which was launched in 1977 as well, is operating correctly. The power that the twin spacecraft can produce is constantly decreasing. Therefore, mission team members have shut off some components to save power, hoping to keep the probes operational until at least 2025. Voyager 1 was launched two weeks after Voyager 2, a robotic mission. After swinging past Saturn in 1980 and 1981, they diverged on opposite courses. NASA allowed the creation of two golden records to be installed on board the spacecraft, recognizing that the Voyagers might eventually fly to interstellar space. On board were sounds ranging from whale noises to Chuck Berry's music, as well as spoken greetings in 55 languages, just in case extraterrestrials came across the spacecraft and wondered where they came from. The 12-inch wide gold-plated copper disc also included pictorials showing how to operate them and the position of the sun among nearby pulsars, a type of fast-spinning stellar corpse known as a neutron star. Three radioisotope thermoelectric generators which transform the heat emitted by the radioactive decay of plutonium into energy power both spacecrafts. Both probes were outfitted with 10 scientific instruments including a two-camera imaging system, multiple spectrometers and a magnetometer and gear that detects low-energy charged particles and high-energy cosmic rays. Mission team members have also used the Voyager's communication system to help them study planets and moons, bringing the total number of scientific investigations on each craft to 11. Scientists anticipate Voyager 1 will get off its lawn and travel even further into space as it passes by the edge of our cosmic home. Erroneous number sequences such as rows of zeros are being sent back from the computer that keeps Voyager 1's antenna pointing towards Earth. In response to the signal being received from beyond the Voyager 1, project manager Suzanne Dodd, who started working on the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft 38 years ago as her first job out of college in 1984, is trying to figure out what is going on with this faraway mission. Suzanne Dodd at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California said in a statement that, a mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecrafts are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated, Dodd added. We're also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft has flown in before. The probe can detect when something is wrong, Dodd says. As Voyager 1 wades through the edge of our cosmic lake where the magnetic field of the sun interacts with the interstellar medium in ways that are yet to be fully understood. This hinterland is ripe with astronomical data that is yet to be harvested. As a result, the outdated machinery on Voyager 1 must be self-sufficient. It has a lot of ability to autonomously detect what's wrong and put itself in a safe situation, Dodd said, remarking on the current situation. But it hasn't gone into any kind of fault protection, which tells us that the spacecraft thinks it's just fine. It's just that, for some reason, it started speaking a different language that we don't understand, she says. The issue with the unusual signal sent is that the problem with Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system, or 
AACS, which maintains the spacecraft's and antenna's appropriate alignment. This computer is one of three on the spacecraft and is in charge of maintaining Voyager 1's orientation, such as operating thrusters and keeping the high-gain antenna pointed towards Earth, so that data about the interstellar medium can continue to trickle back. And the AACS appears to be working properly, as the spacecraft is receiving commands, acting on them, and transmitting science data to Earth with the same signal strength as before. Despite this, the AACS continues to communicate junk data to the spacecraft's operators. The NASA statement makes no mention of when or how long the problem has existed. Voyager personnel will continue to look into the problem and try to solve or adapt to it according to the agency. It takes 20 hours and 33 minutes for a signal from Earth to reach Voyager 1, and it takes the same amount of time to receive the spacecraft's return signals. The fact that the crew can steer the spacecraft together with the intensity of the signal and the lack of fault protection activation indicates that Voyager 1 is in good shape. The telemetry signal, though, doesn't make any sense, Dodd explains, yielding either all zeros or 377. We would be experiencing a decline in our signal from our spacecraft if the spacecraft was in trouble, she says, which they aren't. Somewhere in the interaction with the flight data system, Dodd explains that there's something that's causing the telemetry data to be mixed up or incomprehensible, and they still don't know why. What comes next? Scientists are working to decipher this strange message because according to Dodd, the problem will be diagnosed in two stages. The first step is to determine what is causing the abnormality. If we can do that, then we can decide what we want to do with it going forward. If we want to reset anything, or if we want to switch to some of the backup hardware, she says. Because we do have redundancy on these systems, even after 45 years. However, the decades-long timeline is working against them. According to Dodd, the people who designed the circuitry and drew up the concept for Voyager 1 are either retired or have passed away which means that there's a good probability they won't figure out what created this abnormality, but they will proceed cautiously, taking steps to restore the normal operations. The engineering team faces some significant problems, added Dodd. However, I believe our team will discover a solution to this problem with the AACS. But one thing is certain, Voyager 1 is still sending back science data every day, and the mission is far from over. So let us know what you think in the comment section below and give us a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any updates from us. Finally, go through the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.